Hi guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Today we're going to take a big model and cut it into smaller pieces so that you can fit it on your print bed. Okay, I'm having trouble with my screen capture program, so um, I'm having to film the screen with my camera. Hopefully it turns out okay. So what I'm using is Netfab Basic and it's free off the internet. I'll put the link in the description. And the first thing you want to do when you open it up is go into Project, Open, and and select the model that you want to modify. So here I've just got, um, it's the loot, loot chest from Borderlands 2. Um, just, just to show you how it all works. So I've decided I want to split it down the middle here. So we'll go off to the side to the X, where it says cuts, and choose the X slider. And you see the red line moving across the print, showing you where the, where the cut's going to be. We'll just position that roughly where where we want it. Uh, going down, uh, just leave the other axes as alone. Uh, where it says cut all parts, we'll leave that as it is for now. Uh, execute cut. So then what we can do is um, you know have a, have a good look. If I can get the scroll to work, have a good look around make sure the cut is actually where we want it to be and um, what we can do is we can move we can move it uh, in small increments to fine tune where we want it and it doesn't have to be one millimeter I could change this to any number that I want it to be here it's at half a millimeter uh, when we're happy with that we come down the bottom to to cut And then we have, it's been cut in half. So you can also select the pieces from the pane over here. I don't know what you'd call this section of the program, but there it is. Um, and the first thing I would suggest doing is right, right click and rename. And I'm going to call this uh, just something that's really easy to understand so you know what it is. I'm going to call it chest back oh geez that's terrible isn't it back chest back all right and then what I'm going to do is rename the other one as well to chest front and you can see that's been renamed over here you could also re rename from here and then I think what I want to do is I want to slice up the Y axis. That's a Z, the Y. So you see it's got a green line now, a green line. I think I'll go down the middle. But um, I think I don't want to cut the front, I only want to cut the back. So over here, back in the cuts panel, and we go down where it says cut all parts. And we just change that to cut only selected parts. And you can still move it around. And you can see the green line now, it doesn't go over the grey areas, only the green. So when we're ready for that, we go execute cut. Uh, this, this popped up because I played with the z-axis. And it only lets you cut one axis at a time, so uh, let's choose the Y axis here. Again, we can move it up and down if we want to. Um, I'm pretty happy where it is. Uh, make sure down here it says the checkbox is ticked, where it says uh, only selected parts. And when you're happy, press cut. And now we have three pieces. So again, I'm just going to rename these. Um, chest back. Right. I know it looks left, but from the front, when you watch, looking at it from the front, it'll 
It'll be the other way around. So rename this one as well. And there we go. So now we've got uh, a full front piece, two back halves. Perfect. So from there, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can right click here and go on to export part and as STL. Cut into pieces and we're going to save it, chest back left. And you can just go around and do all of those. And what I like to do is after I've exported it is just remove it from this so that I know that I've already gotten rid of it and I, I don't miss sections so yep and I'll do for this one as well export as STL just back right yes and remove uh, you can also do it from this pane here just select it right click Export part as STL, chest front, and that's all done. So NetFab has a few other um, capabilities as well that are well worth exploring, um, particularly the repair function that it can do um, if your part was broken, it can repair it, make it manifold or watertight as they say. Um, yep, so that's it for NetFab. That's, that's all over there. Uh, I can pull it into my slicing program and um, so I can uh, just bring in, let's just bring in the front. And as you can see, it's, it's just that piece that we cut, which is great. Uh, all the pieces are exactly how we made them. Um, so there you go, that's how I would slice big models into smaller parts or complex models to make them easier to print. Uh, definitely NetFab, it's free. Um, yeah. Alright, so there you have it. That's how to take a big model, slice it into smaller pieces so it fits on your print bed. You can also use this same slicing uh, method to cut a model at, at, uh, in a key location if it wasn't printing very well, if it had large overhangs or um, very thin parts. Sometimes you can slice it and reorient it on the bed so that it prints much better. Um, and, you know, Printing all in one piece is not the be all and end all. Sometimes a multiple print part will come up a lot, a lot nicer. So yeah, give it a go. Um, I look forward to seeing you again. Like, subscribe. My next video is going to be unboxing my new printer. It's a Wombot XL. So I look forward to seeing you there. Ciao.